here from Glow Body Personal Training. Today we're doing challenging chair Pilates. We are breaking our way into third trimester, so congratulations. Thanks so much for following along with me and for subscribing. I'm currently at 27 weeks, going into the 28 week mark, so really excited about that. Feeling all right, starting to get some of that lower ligament pain down here, so I had to stop running. You can read more about that on my blog, glowbodypt.com, if you're interested about tips on women running while pregnant. So I'd love for you to leave your comments and let me know of any tips that you've learned along the way too. We're going to get right started. Grab your kitchen chair. I want it facing towards you just as I have mine right now. We're going into high heels. All right, looking at the chair, hands on the chair, get up on your heels as if you have stilettos on. I want you to crunch down, stand up, kick up with that right leg. Crunch down and kick up. So when you're bringing your right leg down, this toe should be just off the floor, but not touching it. And you're kicking up as if you're pushing through the ceiling, just like that. I want to get a little bit more point in my toe. Elongate that leg. Think about a long base leg, a long kicking leg. And I'm going to get a little bit lower in my squat. All right. Beautiful. Good breathing. Notice my forearms are slightly bent, so I'm also engaging my triceps just a little bit as I come down. Gorgeous. Stay up on that toe. Remember, high heels, beautiful calves, nice long legs, and reach. Now, if this feels like too much of a stretch at any time in your stomach, feel free to not reach quite as high. If you maintain good flexibility, then reaching high may just feel fine and normal. All right, we're going to do three more. Three. Stay up on that toe. Two. One. And let that heel down. Woo! I want you to lean back into a stretch. Just letting that belly hang. You're catching your breath. Feeling good. We're going to switch legs onto that right leg as your base leg. On your toes. Left leg up. Squat down, kick up, squat down, kick up, reach for the ceiling. Think about pointing that toe at the top. You're engaging your glutes, squeezing those calves that are lifting you up. Just really elongating your legs, letting them be lean and strong. Reach up. Great job, Mommy. I know this is challenging, but I didn't name it challenging chair Pilates for nothing. There you go. Put those high heels on. By the way, I don't support endorsing wearing high heels a lot. They're definitely not good to be in that plantar flex position and can cause all kinds of problems with your, with your shins and knees, you name it. So save high heels for special occasions. And three, get down. Two, one more. And one. All right, let those heels come to the floor. Arm straight, booty back, and stretch. Beautiful baby belly just hanging down. You're catching your breath. You're feeling good. Your neck is in a nice neutral position. Reach those glutes back a little bit farther. All right, slowly come up, starting at your shoulders. Little bend in the knee. And roll your back up straight, vertebrae by vertebrae. Gorgeous. All right, next move, grab your chair so that you have the tall portion facing towards you. Doing 45s. These are going to be your left leg base, left leg, um, left arm holding onto the chair. We're going to be going 45 degrees forward and 45 degree backwards. The whole time I want you engaging the outer part of your hips right here. In this outer part of your gluteus medius. All right, 45. So we're going to pulse twice at each part. 45 forward, two, 45 back, two, one. There you go. Two, two, one. When your leg comes back down, it's not hitting the floor, it's going just above the floor. Keeping your back up straight. When you do that 45 back, you're not leaning forward like this, mommy. Keeping your back nice and straight up. Two, two, 
two, one. Keep it up. You feel like you got a good rhythm in right now. And back. Who steps me right now? Don't they know we're making a workout video? And back. Forward. And back. Gorgeous. Stay with me. Five more in both directions. And back. Squeeze those glutes and hips. You got it. This is three. Two. Even starting to feel it on the side a little bit. And one. All right, good job. We're gonna switch sides. Just turn on your chair. And forward. One, two, back, two, one. One, two, two, one. Engage those hips. Now engage those glutes. Beautiful. You're breathing just like normal. Don't be shy to put your hand right on your butt just like I did. Put it there and feel it squeeze, mommy. That way you're really teaching yourself how to engage those specific muscles and to not compensate by using another synergist muscle. Um, like your lower, your lower quads or anything. I'm sorry, your lower hamstrings. Just engaging those glutes. That's it. 45s. And this will be number four coming forward. And four back. Get up. And pulse with me. That's it. Two, and last set. All right, let's go into elegant obliques. I call these elegant, but really I'm not elegant at all. Let's face it. I'm a runner, I'm a personal trainer, not exactly a ballet <laughs> dancer, but we're gonna do the best we can, so here we go. Take your forearm, put it right up against the side of your chair, if you're using a wooden chair, I recommend just putting a towel on it to make it a little softer. Legs are about shoulder width apart, but we're soon going to face our other leg over here. So I've got my right leg straight up, left arm on the chair, right arm is coming up, reaching over, I wanna see pretty fingers, and elegant obliques, squeezing, beautiful. Now, the elegant fingers are just for fun, so we feel a little more artsy and our and our workout here is we're in our third trimester great I'm squeezing my whole oblique you're even going to start feeling it right here on your outer thigh it's this whole section great job mommy that's it elongate that leg look down do a self check is your knee straight or is it starting to bend if it's starting to bend Tighten that quadricep and get that knee straight again. Gorgeous. Now you don't have to look up at your hand like I am. It helps me balance just a little bit. If you'd rather, you can just look straight ahead. But um, I think we all need a little bit extra balance in our third trimester. Beautiful. I'm gonna need three more. Three, two, and one. All right. And that leg back down. We're gonna switch sides. All right, knee is based, left leg is nice out and straight. Looking at it, thinking about keeping that quad tight so that my knee stays tight the entire time. Just scoot that up just a little bit. Leaning into it, toes off the floor, reaching up and bring the arm and leg together. Great job, mommy. I think you look elegant at home. All right, I'm so proud of you for continuing to work out right now in your third trimester. I know that this is the time when motivation really starts to lag. Um, but I want you to think about it as a maintenance season. This isn't a, this isn't a developing, we're not going to approve anything here now. We're just going to maintain what we've got, stay strong, lean and flexible, so we can have a successful labor and delivery. 
is also going to help keep baby healthy. Remember, the stronger we are cardiovascularly, the stronger baby is cardiovascularly. You're actually expanding the size of his or her little lungs as well. All right, three more. Three, two, one. All right. Well, I can't exactly say my obliques were uh, that elegant, but um, I think it was fun trying. All right, next is donkey kicks with our chair as support. All right, so chair out in front of you. Nice base on your shoulders, shoulder width apart. Want your left leg to be your base right now. Right leg is gonna come up straight. We're gonna kick straight up and do a complex. Out to the side and ninja kick. Up and ninja kick. Awesome job. These are slow, controlled movements. You're engaging your entire glutes, both sides of your glutes, especially that base leg. I really feel it on the outside of my glute. Get high, up, hinge out, and down. Got it. You got this. I know you do. I believe in you. You've come this far. You can keep it up. Kick high, and out. I love this complex because I feel it in so many places, not even moving, yet I know my heart rate's up because I can feel it in my, in my breathing, and I hope you can too. Hope you're breaking out a little sweat, mommy. Great. Highly suggest turning around to look at that kick when you kick up and doing a self-check to look up to the side. I know I have a tendency to let that knee drop just a little bit when I go out to the side for my ninja kicks. I need to keep it up high. We need two more. And the last one. Woo! And done. Again, I want you to stretch just like we did when we were on high heels. Arms forward, leaning those beautiful glutes back into that back wall and stretching. I'm feeling a great stretch all my hamstrings and glutes right now as well as shoulders and back. Back straight, booty back, push it back a little bit farther. You're feeling it in your hamstrings. <sighs> Wonderful. All right, back up on your hands. All right, other side. Right leg is base, left leg is going in the air, getting it high. Into the side, up, and ninja kick. Awesome. You're so strong. Your glutes are going to thank you. Your quads are going to thank you. If you keep this up throughout your third trimester, I swear you're going to look so fantastic in skinny jeans no matter how big that belly gets. Push up and out. Gorgeous. You are strong. You can do this. You can get through the end of this workout. This is the last exercise and out. All right, I want to see a high thigh on the side and kick it out. Bring it back down and up. High thigh and out. Kick down and up. All right, three, two, last one. Ouch! All right, lean back. You did it. Congratulations. That was my challenging chair Pilates for today. Catch your breath, stretching, reaching those glutes back to the back, to the back wall. All right, lean forward, slight bend in those knees, and roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Rolling your shoulders back, exhaling, arms down, catching your breath. That made me feel really good. I hope that you feel good too, ladies. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that you all support my channel and press subscribe. See you next time.